here now. How ready are you? Yeah, you know, we've had a fantastic camp. It's been uh, absolutely fabulous. Do apologise earlier for the swearing. Only uh, when I came in this morning, you know, it's not nice when your promoter saying to you, Mick Hennessy, that, you know, Higgins is threatening to pull out the fight. He's, you've breached and he wants to run away to New Zealand with the money. So, you know, we hear all this rubbish talk out of his mouth and, uh, and he comes in here and says, what about the referee? He made a comment regarding in the paper and said, I looked Peter Fury in the eyes and he told me that we was going to get the best of fair play over here. Okay, let's dissect that. This is what I can do as fair play goes. Joseph Parker mutually picked the gloves. The ring checked and approved by both people. The dressing room, everything spot on. That's what I can do. Give best of fair play. I want my son to win a world title with no hidden agendas. Now, Higgins is basically saying because of the referee, it's not fair. Is he insinuating that I've got the boxing board of control, one of the most respected offic officiated people group in the world boxing to say, I've got him in my pocket, the bent. I have got no interest in a referee, a judge, or anything else. I'm here to see my son win a world title. And that's what we've been training for. And furthermore, as I understand it from Mick this morning, we've wrote to the box, they wrote to the Boxing Board of Control and they're looking to oblige and uh, change things around. So all this stupid, silly gossip, talking to other promoters, giving snips of his own words, snips of theirs, you know, I'm not interested in all of that crap. We're interested in world boxing. And that's for fair play. He did look me in the eyes, and I did look him in the eyes and say, you get the best of fair play. What I can't do is go to the Boxing Board of Control and say, change this, change that. That's up to them. We've requested it as well. That's all we can do. Have you been a bit surprised at how all of this has kind of blown up a bit in the last few days? Well, I am surprised because we've heard, we've heard various stages along. I give my word to David Higgins. And I said, this fight's going to happen. So, you know, first of all, jumping up and down, the money's not in, or the mo we're not getting paid, the fight's never going to happen. They get paid. Got paid up front. So, you know, <laughs> you know, what more can anybody do? They're paid, you know, and they're here. The politics of boxing and stuff at the back, you know, people get carried away. You know, they're, up, they're fighting, that's the end of it. Is this rematch going to get put on? Is he going to back out? Is he this? Is he that? If butts don't do anything. We're here. The fight's happening. They're paid. You know? And all these breaches, there are no breaches. And if he thinks he can run off in Timbuktu with the money, good luck to him, because he can't. We know our legal rights, and it's all, it's all bullshit to me. You know? Just, I don't know what, what's the matter with, uh, with him, rather. You know, is he unhappy, is he unsteady? Is he unhappy with the fact that really he negotiated a fight with Eddie Hearn and didn't think for a million years you would be fighting? And all of a sudden, bang, he's here. <laughs> he's got the problem. So, like I said, I apologise for me swearing. Let's get back to the boxing. I think this is going to be a terrific fight. I've prepared Yui for 12 rounds of a tough contest. We're taking nothing away from Joseph Parker. I've always said he's a good fighter. You know, I'm coming from fighting people. We think <laughs> we know fighting pretty well. So Yui's at a camp where he's prepared for wars. He's been hit a lot. Took a lot of punishment in sparring. He's done 12 rounds three times a week, sometimes 15 rounds, one in, one out, up to eight sparring partners. You know, he's been uh, battered, bruised, up hill and down in sparring. You know, this is a war as far as he's concerned. And, um, but look, anything can happen in boxing, and this is what we've prepared for. But we've prepared for a, a very, very tough fight, and one that uh, you is ready for. And I'm looking forward to see a good fight, because all the work's done now, and we're just looking forward to see a great fight between, as Mick said, two very up-and-coming young heavyweights. And uh, we'll see on the 23rd of September who goes forward.
So, Huey, there's been a lot going on, a lot going on in the background, and you fighters have to try and divorce yourselves from that as much as you possibly can in the, in the preparations. Has it been, been possible to do that? And how are you feeling? Um, I don't really get involved in the politics side of things. I just leave that up to my team. And I've got a good team behind me, so I just concentrate on the boxing. At the end of the day, it's a fight, it's a fight. So, listen, my training camp's been the best training camp I've ever been in. Uh, everything's gone so well. The, it's been tough. Blood, sweat, tears and guts have been put into this. And believe me, on the 23rd of September, I'm bringing that belt home because I'm super confident in my skills and everything. I put all the hard work in. I'm determined. This is going to be an unbelievable fight. You've got two young, hungry fighters who want it more than anything. It's a matter who wants it more because I'm willing to die in that ring. So I just can't wait now to get in there and do the job. And is it particularly important of you as well, not just as an individual, but from, from a family point of view, to, to get a Fury name back on that World Championship roster uh, at heavyweight? Because obviously Tyson unified those belts and then he's not able to box at the moment. Yeah, it means well to me. This is what we're in boxing for. We're in boxing to become world champion, not just to become, to unify the division. And I won't stop until I unify the division, one belt at a time. But I'm not looking past Joseph Park. He is a good fighter. I can't take nothing away from the kid. The kid's a nice, pleasant kid. But when that bell goes, it's strictly business. And that's it. Who wants it more will win. But I believe, super confident going into this fight, that I will be victorious on the 23rd of September. It has been a long time coming. Has it been in any way difficult for both of you uh, to keep peaking, to keep yourself on the simmer, if you like, to, to make sure you're absolutely ready and not, and not overtrained, if you like, by the time you get to fight night? Yeah, it's, it, is. It's, uh, it is. It's a fine balance, but that's why I've got my dad. He's my trainer. I won't be here today without him because I always say he's the mastermind behind it all because without him, there'd be nothing. So I'll leave all that side to him. So I'm super confident in my ability, my strength, my fitness because this is the best I've ever felt. I've had my problems in the past. No one's going to see nothing like the new UB Fury on the 23rd of September. OK, so well, you chaps have been sitting, waiting patiently, uh, Team Parker. So, Kevin, we'll start with you. Peter went through a lot of things there at the top, and then we got to the fight. But there has been a lot going on around this fight in the background, and you're kind of the buffer between that and him, to a large extent. And how difficult has it all been? It hasn't been difficult at all, because we've just focused on one thing. You know, we know that we've got a very big job in front of us on the 23rd. Firstly, let me say, look... I can understand David Higgins' frustration. Um, he is the promoter, he is our promoter, he's responsible for a contract that we have in place, and I know there are some things in that contract that, uh, that Dave thought, having a contract, that we would have neutral officials, and I know he's very frustrated reporting back to us that we've got you know, a British judge and a British referee. Myself and Joe personally, we have no concern. We don't worry about who the referee is, who the judge is. Um, let me say to Peter, uh, please don't worry about uh, David running off with the money because we're going nowhere. We've come here for one reason, and that's for Joseph Parker to defend his world title. This is an opportunity speak that we... to David and tell him to stop threatening to run off with We're going nowhere, Peter. Bridges. Um, let me tell you this, you know, we've waited a long time, not just to get in the ring with Huey, because this fight's been coming backwards and forwards for six months, but, you know, we've waited a long time to campaign in, in the UK. This is something that we've put a lot of thought into, and the timing for us is perfect right now. Joe's been a pro for a little over four and a half years. He has learned his game, he has won the world title, he's defended it once. Right now, I believe he is at his best. And I was very encouraged and pleased to hear, and as we knew it would be, that Huey is in the best shape of his career. Um, I expect him to be in the best shape of his career because he's fighting one of the most dangerous heavyweights, if not the most dangerous, in world boxing. Um, I have huge belief in my fighter, Joseph Parker. I don't believe in the last two fights that we've seen Joe at his best. We haven't had good training camps. This time we've had an excellent training camp. I think that Joe's energy levels, his speed, his stamina, 
his mental attitude, everything is on point for this fight, and I know we're going to see the very best of Joseph Parker on Saturday night. So Joseph, to you, the man himself, how did that all sound? Are you in good shape? Yeah, I'm in great shape. Firstly, everyone, thank you all for being here today. Thank you, Team Fury, for being here. Um, it's great to be here in London with my family, friends, um, some of the team back home. Um, like Kevin said, you know, this is, the, this is the best I've felt, and it's great to hear, like Kevin said, from Team Fury, this is the best that he's felt. You know, this is a, a boxing a time where you have to, you know, have to have two warriors come and fight their best. So um, if he wasn't at my, his best, I'll be a bit worried, and I want to challenge the best Huey that there is. So training's gone great. I feel good. Uh, just going to... You know, keep sharp until fight night and um, I'm looking forward to getting in the ring and, and putting a great uh, performance. The build-up's been interesting though, you, you thought it would be in New Zealand, uh, now you've had to travel over here, um, there has been a lot of things that have been discussed over the last few days, we've gone through most of them, such as the referee, how, how difficult is it or easy is it for you just to just, to, just shut out the noise really? Oh, it's very easy. And the reason I say that is because I have a great team behind me who deals with all the noise. Uh, my job is to focus on boxing and training and being in great shape. And that's all I'm focused on. So there's not, there's not many distractions coming my way. And I feel like I've had, um, I'm mentally and physically in great shape. So there's, there's no excuses. Okay, so just a final word from, from both of you, just to, to finish with Huey. Firstly, from you, what are we going to see on Saturday night? Let's have a prediction. I'm going to knock him out. I'm super confident, trained for, I've had the hardest sparring, and I believe I'm going to knock him out. Joseph? Yeah, same here. I think I'm going to knock him out. I don't know, I'm not sure what round, probably between the round of one and 12. <laughs> but I'm going to knock him out. <laughs> and then we're going to get up and be gentlemen and, and be friends after the fight. But when it's fight time, it's going to be business. And I'm here ready. I'm here to put on a great performance. And I'm going to dominate. Okay, so we'll now take some questions uh, from the floor. Any questions think, you have? Just uh, sorry, can I just before that address one thing that Peter said? I've no idea why David Higgins come in with that outburst because I spoke to him this morning. I told him that the border control wanted to talk to him to re resolve this situation. Thinking back, he said to me, "We sent him the numbers." He said, I'll talk to him after the press conference. I asked him to, to, to ring the, the board now. That there, in my opinion, was either his 15 minutes of fame or he's pissed up. One of the two. God knows why he'd done that. There was no need for it. OK, so any questions we now have from the floor? They will all be available for one-on-one -on -one interviews afterwards as well. Uh, and there'll be some photos too, of course. But uh, any questions? Um, it made it very interesting, uh, but uh, nothing to do with me. I'm, you know, I'm here. He's my promoter, and I'm not really sure what that was, at, what that was about. But I'm focused on being here. Being, um, I'm just focused on fighting. So nothing to do with me, really. Was he drunk? I don't know. Let's ask him. Is he? Where is he? <laughs> yeah, tomato. Is he, is he, was he drunk? I'm not sure. I don't know. No idea. I'm not his keeper. Yeah. Anybody else? It's paralytic. Can I ask each of the protagonists, do you think this is the toughest opponent you would get faced to either one of you who started Joseph? I think uh, every opponent brings different challenges, and I feel like uh, this will be, it will be the, one of the toughest fights I've had in, in terms of, you know, he's got a great team behind him, he's uh, got a different awkward style, so. I'm looking forward to you know, the challenge that he's going to bring in terms of the style that he has. Yeah, 100%. This is going to be a, a new styles. But to be honest with you, I've had all the hard sparring in the bank. But it's going to be a tough fight. And I believe I'm 100% confident in winning it. No, not at all. Yeah, in all, in all contracts, um, it's between the WBO and the local commission. And in all contracts, it's the local commission that will override anything that's agreed between the promoters. So it's, 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 down, to, you know, it's, it's down to the governing bodies. We've got no sway over that. I, 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 th I think if you know about boxing, it's a silly question. Well, 
Well, they work with the British Boxing Board and Control on a regular basis, so they should know each other's rules, shouldn't they? OK. Right, well, that's the photos now, probably, first of all, and then break off for one-on-one -on -one interviews. Any more questions? No. John.